workshop uh, called the first workshop the weekend of the 4th to the 5th of November. The main emphasis there is just to get registrars or people that are training in reproductive medicine and people that have just qualified within the first five years to share their experiences. And we also had overseas speakers. So I was one of the speakers invited as a local speaker to share lessons learned from ASHRAE 2022. So the main thing about the workshop was on fertility. There were lessons about on fertility. The emphasis as to people need to educate guys need to educate doctors about on fertility as an option available for patients. And then the second thing that was learned at the workshop was the importance of ovulation stimulation, the do's and don'ts, and that uh, when we do um, ovulation hyperstimulation. Stimulation, we just need to make sure that we don't exceed 300 international units, even though there are studies done, but there is not enough evidence to say going beyond doesn't help. And the more emphasis as well was put on saying that maybe for some patients we jump too quickly to IVF, we can try ovulation induction and artificial insemination. But then uh, the highlight of the talk for me was the emphasis going back to basics, understanding the, how the corpus luteum works and natural frozen embryo transfer cycles being the highlight of the day, whereby we need to focus more on doing natural frozen embryo transfer. Yes, there are problems with that because we cannot predict when the transfer needs to be done, but it was more explained why is the corpus luteum an important part of the pregnancy. So the first workshop uh, also gives an opportunity to interact with one another. It's more of a networking uh, kind of a workshop as well to share ideas and see how we can improve management of our patients.